Come on. Come on, we can still do this. You've got it. <laughs> He's done it. <laughs> yes, get in. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chaz Drake Media, and welcome to another episode of Gran Turismo 2. Now, we're just about to finish the GT500 Championship. It's the last round of the season. We are already champions. We are nine points clear of the Denso Sard Supra, and we're here at Apricot Hill. It, this is very much like the previous episode in GT300, isn't it, where we start by basically just... Uh, uh, words! We start by finishing the championship, already declared as champions at Apricot Hill. <laughs> Holding my thumb down. And here we go then. We can just enjoy this last race. Oh, for the last one, by the way, at uh, Trial Mountain, you get 15,000 credits for finishing second, which is a very harsh prize considering you get 50 grand for winning the race. We are, of course, in the Castrol NSX. After doing the original run through of the championship in the Supra and walking it, we've had a much harder time by trying it again in the NSX, and it's been a lot more fun, I must admit. I'm glad we went with this car. We could also give it another go further down the line if we need more money in the ZX... Uh, sorry, not the ZX, the Zexel Supra. Not even a Supra, a Skyline. I was very distracted by the fact that ZX there was going to come flying back onto the road. Oh, look at that. Look at that drift. No, don't you ruin it. Naughty Skyline. Come on, then, get round. Oh, God. Yep, again, I was distracted, so I hit the trigger instead of square to break. Oh, look at that switchback. Oh, you've been mugged and a drift to show off. <laughs> Oh, it's a shame I didn't deliver my words properly there. I was meant to say show off, and I sort of said show F. Oh, God. Focus, Chaz. Focus. Lap one done is my favourite bit. Oh, why are you breaking already? Again, put off. I've been put off. I've been put off. I don't think I've ever really realised. Oh, my God. How easily distracted I can be about by what the other cars are doing. This is a terrible performance. I do apologise. We've not started this episode in the best way. This NSX is so fast. I wish you could see the brake lights from further away. Look at that! <laughs> Look at that! I love it! Oh, mate, that's so cool. Uh, that is such a good bit of the circuit, that. When you get it right, it's just so beautiful. Come on, let's run away and uh, absolutely... Oh, look at the... the <laughs> look at the racing line through that. Watch that back. Look how perfect that was. Oh, it's wonderful. Let's absolutely decimate him, shall we? Come on, let's show him what this NSX is made of. Let's properly win this by a long shot. No more mucking about. No more, like, intense close racing. And then again, I say that like I've been making mistakes on purpose. I genuinely haven't. I've been really pushing hard. That trial mountain race last time out was fantastic. If you haven't watched that episode, by the way, go back and watch that first. I mean, if you haven't watched any of the episodes up to this point, or if you've skipped any of them, I don't know why. Because this is very dependent on the fact that you've watched all the episodes before this. So please do go back and watch. Don't let this be the first one you watch. Oh, that's a lift there. Right, let's do this right, shall we? Got that big drift on the way in. Ready? And go. Oh, <laughs> it may not have been as tidy as earlier, but it was so much fun. All right, what speed can we get up to down here? That's fast. Way off the racing line for the way in. I'm still undecided on what to do about the endurance events, by the way, when we get to them. Part of me wants to maybe stream it and record it at the same time so you guys can all see it live and then we'll just do like a highlights video of it for those that don't watch it live. We'll keep the full version up as well so just in case people do fancy watching all of it back, they can do. It does sound like I've already uh, made my mind up, doesn't it? Look at that, even through there looking at the camera that time we nailed it. One more lap to go in the GT500 Championship. I'm almost sad it's nearly over. We've got a huge lead though, look at that. Well, that suddenly turned in very hard. Feels great around there. It may look a bit weird because it's hopping and skipping all over the place, but it feels fantastic. It's a, it's a bit of a shame, to be honest, that this championship hasn't been more of a challenge, you know. It's been more difficult in this NSX than it was in the Supra, for sure, but a bit of a shame that it wasn't more difficult all the way through, like really trying hard to win these races because I felt like this last one especially has been a breeze. So that is it. GT500 champions get in. 
<laughs> the NSX pulls through. Come on. Oh, I'm really pleased. Let's see what the winning margin was by the end. It was quite a distance, wasn't it? 10.9 seconds. Wow. And still they're finishing. And there's eight points for the championship. 38 points in the end. That's a really good score. 25 points for Denzo Saab puts them second. That'll do. That will do, won't it? Why? Why? Why do you have to be so loud? So here's part one of the payday. We're going to finally go back over half a million. There it goes. And then when we continue past this point, we're going to get a big old trophy on a bit of a skew angle. 200,000 credits more. And a new car. Now, I genuinely don't know what this is going to be. We're going to save. I'm going to have to think for a sec what that could be. I mean, it's probably the Pennzoil R34. Because that car always wore the number one, which I assumed meant that it was the sort of reigning champion of whatever year it was when that car was put into the games. So, because this game, as we've discussed before, gives you the car or a car of the regulations that you've basically been racing in. So for winning GT300, we got a GT300 car. For winning GT500, we'll probably get a GT500 car. But there it is. We've won the GT500 championship. We'll go straight to the garage. I'm not going to do the stupid tilt my head back thing like I did a few episodes ago. What have we got? Okay, a Sarumo Supra GT. Now, I think this is the one that I liked. The black one. Oh, it is. Oh, that's so tasty. Oh, I'm in love with that. It is, yeah, the CDMA1 Supra. Oh, that's fantastic. Got a weird little glitch going on there. I've noticed on some of the cars it does that. That is just awesome. Truly awesome. 686 brake horsepower. Not sure if the headlight texture is correct. If there's a... If, is that a glitch? Oh, no, no. It does run down the side of it, doesn't it? Big, big love for that. Okay. So now we need to head to the next series, which is on the list and is planned. Speaking of lists, by the way, here's a quick look at how the list currently stands right now. So all the white cars are the ones that we've got. Of course, there's some that may still be hidden and I've not told you about. They're just going to pop up as soon as we get them. But that's going to be something that we continue to focus on going towards the end of this game. However, the next thing is to go racing. And, well, we've got a hell of a list of cars to go racing in. I think to do a bit of research, we're going to call it research. I'm going to go in the TVR Speed 12 because this championship is going to be some of the fastest of the fastest cars that you can get. You've probably guessed already what it is that we're going to do. But we're going to head back to the Gran Turismo League. We're going to go past all of this, all the nationals, these two. And we're going to go for the Gran Turismo World League. Some of you may say that we should finish the game at this sort of point, but no. I think we're going to go for this and get the money and so on. Oh, by the way, this little cheeky icon up here appears when you get your super license. I forgot to mention this at the time, but you get this thing, which is known as the event generator or the event synthesizer. Basically, depending on what car you're in, which right now I don't dare tempting fate with, you can choose a little sort of combination. It'll put you at a random track. It'll put cars in there that may be of a similar performance to yours. And then you get like 10 grand for winning a race and it's only two laps. So that's a good little money earner, to be honest with you. Proper cool. Proper cool little thing. We might play with that a little bit later in the playthrough just to show it off a bit. Anyway, the Gran Turismo World League beckons. We're going to try and do this in a couple of sittings. Trial Mountain is first off. We have no idea what to expect. Well, I have no idea what to expect. You lot might know. We're going to go in the most bonkers car we can. The TVR Speed 12. Trial Mountain as well. Oh, what a place to try it out. Jesus. Well, let's see what we're up against. See whether we need to change our minds, shall we? Okay. Oh. Interesting music. Listen to that Calibra. So there's a Toyota GT1. This car is just an animal. I don't know if it's going to behave itself or what, but I'm being very tentative with it because that last NSX has scared me enough. Oh, God, it's all over the show. It's not a race car, obviously. There's an Alpha 155 in there. I think that's what was screaming. I think there's a few of them. I think it's the Alpha and the Calibra. What are you doing? It is funny, though, sometimes in Gran Turismo when you see the Toyota GT1 go up against stuff like... Like an Alpha Touring car and a Calibra Touring car, and they're, like, of similar performance. That's one time where I start to question Gran Turismo's realism. Right, look at this gear. It's 
Stop. Jesus. I, I can't race this. I mean, this is not going to win us the championship, but I think we do a bit of a meme run-through of it for a laugh. It's just so fast. Like, it is just beyond fast. Good Lord. You see different versions and shapes of this car all over the internet and all over different games. I've never seen one of this shape anyway. It's actually quite grippy the higher speed you get out of it. Whatever car is in front of us, I feel sorry for because we're probably about to blast past it. I think it's the Alpha. Look at that. Oh my God. Yeah, it is the Alpha that sounds like an old F1 car. Interested to see them spread out so much, actually, so it does look like the performance has been made quite realistic at this point. But when this car isn't trying to kill you, it's actually really good. you just got to get used to it trying to kill you. <laughs> look at that. My word. It is, like, so fast. I can't come up with words that would make me say otherwise. I, I can't even come up with words right now. The GT1 is struggling to progress past, I think, is that an R390? It is. It's the R390 just ahead of it. Come on, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, TVR. If you beat it's Toyota's GT1... <laughs> yeah, the car says, no, I'm not beating a GT1. Let's just go in a straight line. <laughs> I was going to say, if you could beat a GT1, I'll retire you for good, and you can just enjoy life in the garage. Good Lord. What's leading the way? The Viper. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's the uh, old team Orica Viper. You know what? I'm starting to love this TVR. Look at that. Even against an R390, it's just an absolute rocket. Down the inside of a GT1. Oh, no, this isn't going to go well. I'm offline. I'm offline. I'm sideways. Saved it. Understeer. No, get off the grass. Get off the grass, because you will kill me on the grass. Oh, God, I pressed the button by mistake. Ha, ha, ha. I'm not going down to second gear, I don't dare. It's just third and fourth, third and fourth everywhere. Oh, that was a good one. Hooked it up nicely. Come on. All four wheels off the ground. Oh, it's doing a wheelie. Come on. If we keep this tidy long enough, we could win this race. I had to say it. Thank you. Oh God, that was a big hit. I mean, it's probably an improvement for the back of the R390. It's one of the ugliest cars ever made, in my opinion. Uh, come on, we've got one lap left. Let's make it just make it work. Come on. No. Get off the curbs. Come on, move. <laughs> Imagine being in a road car and wanting the R390 to move over. No. No, no, don't call that the end. Please. No, I think that's the end. I should have probably quit this race a long time ago. You're probably sitting there thinking, Chaz, all you're doing is wasting time now. But honestly, I'm enjoying myself. This car is just an absolute riot. Look at it. Oh, my Christ. <laughs> Come on, we've got a couple of corners. We can still do this. Come on. Come on. Come on, we can still do this. Come on, TVR. You've got it. You've got it. <laughs> He's done it. <laughs> yes, get in. The TVR Speed 12 wins. <laughs> what an absolute meme of an automobile. Oh, mate. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> that was funny, that. You know what? You know what? We're going to carry on. This was meant to be research, but no. Sod research. This is an all-out serious attempt now. 25 grand for the win. Straight on to the next one, please. Please be somewhere like Super Speedway. That'd be a laugh, wouldn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is going to be quite painful. They didn't plan those cameras very well with the bridges, did they? Come on, TVR. If you just set off in third, it'll be all right. Look at that. Jesus Christ. I'll have the lead, please. Well, we've got the lead. Oh, no. I've got to remind myself it doesn't have race car handling. Look at that. 
Jeez. It does actually handle really well. However, I don't think this is going to do it any good. Oh, well. Even trying to be stable on the brakes. I mean, it'll embarrass this Viper, like... Without hitting him, I mean. For demonstration purposes and for a bit of research purpose, we let the Viper go in front here. Here you go, watch this. <laughs> That's just stupid, isn't it? I mean, I kind of deserve that. Again, though, look. Meh. This is a car... I was going to say, this is a car for a brainless idiot to just win whatever, but you have to actually really have your wits about you to drive this thing, because it just wants to kill you everywhere. You really need to react to what it's doing. Now, I'm no pro eSport or pro Gran Turismo player, but by the time I've been spending on this playthrough, I think I've become quite in tune with how the game responds and handles to certain stuff. Naturally. Still flat. Oh, what a drift. Oh, look at that. It just kicked into life on the exit of the hill. What? Just suddenly gained, like, a million times the traction. Going from 80 mile an hour to 150 like that is just honestly scary. So what, just watch the speedo when we come out of these next two right-handers. So this is a bit of a start-stop bit. Watch the speedo when we come out of this next corner. Are you ready? All right, watch this. I'm going to stay in fourth. I'm not going to keep saying it because you'll just get bored of me just driving around saying the same thing. Let's not smack it off the limit of chess. But we now know that this car, this car has a genuine chance of winning this championship against like some of the finest racing machines that Gran Turismo 2 has to offer. Hats off to TVR. It probably wouldn't be the case in the real world, would it, that it was as fast as this. I love how the Viper pulls in front to try and block me. Just clout him out of the way on the way past. Oh, I tried to drift it all the way around. It didn't work. Whoa, it's still drifting. Get off the grass. Go in a straight line, damn it. Oh, the Viper's getting angry now. Oh, bye, mate. What a run up there. Stop. Please stop. Please stop. I mean, 37 mile an hour is a bit drastic. Whoa, 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 whoa. Every time we lose out to the Viper there, we need a decent lead before the corkscrew on that final lap. I mean, we can get him back down here, but it's just in case it all does go peak tonk. Ah, uh, short shifted to third just makes it drift more. Wow, it understeered a lot there for some reason. It's very entertaining to drive. It really keeps you on your toes. There we go. I was going to say that's the safest we've been down there the whole time, but that was pretty ropey. Ah, the Toyota GT1 seems to have come up into second place. Well, it's two out of two for the TVR. <laughs> I honestly thought, we'll just give the car a run out, just play about with it, you know, give it one race and then f*** about. But no, brilliant. Two out of two for the TVR Speed 12. Well, that's going to end this episode here. I'm going to carry on with this run through of the championship because, honestly, we could win it in this TVR, and I think we might. That would be one hell of a way to do it, to go for the big one in a TVR. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll show you the championship standings. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>